Hello, it's Jim Chapman with American Air Gun Hunter, and I'm out in Texas, and it is hot. I've been out hunting for a few days. I've got a few days to go, then I'm heading up north, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm out on a long hunt. And the gun i got right now is the Hudson Jet. It's a pistol carbine conversion. Uh, I'm using it in the carbine to hunt. It's got an adjustable stock. It's got a scope mounted. It's got a series of flip-up uh, um, sights if I want to use open sights instead of a scope. I use scope when I'm hunting a lot. Uh, especially in these low light conditions. Side cocking, it's on the left side, real easy to get to. It's not target accuracy, but uh, you know, I can keep everything into a kill shot at 20, 25 yards on my game. And um, I've been hunting with it and having quite a bit of success. Been out after a cottontail and jackrabbit. So come on out, I'll talk a bit about the gun as we're, uh, we're hunting. I'll tell you what it does well, where it might uh, use a little improvement. The Jet 2 is a compact gun. Whether pistol or carbine, it features a very fast, no tools conversion. The left mounted side lever is fast and smooth, and it auto indexes an 8 round 22 magazine. The gun offers plenty of Picatinny rails to mount accessories. I started with a quick session to check zero. Considering the strong winds, I was pretty pleased with accuracy. I drove to the far side of the ranch to begin slowly hiking. I was on the lookout for cottontails and jackrabbits. Walking along the roadside, I spotted the first cottontail. Next up was a jackrabbit on a sparsely covered hillside. This was a good headshot, but the rabbits will often kick a lot as the nervous system shuts down. It's hard to appreciate on the GoPro uh, footage, but the brush can get really thick in here. The Jet 2 is fairly loud, and I would like to see a removable suppressor option. The carbine with its stock extended was comfortable to shoot. I thought it handled really well offhand. With this short barrel, you do need to be careful where you put your hands. Don't let your fingers drift in front of that barrel.
This gun is really fun to shoot offhand. It's uh, it's accurate and uh, puts these little bunnies down. I got a couple jacks, but I'm really focusing on cottontails, and uh, it's just a great gun for walking in this brush. Get back out there and see what else I can do before the day wears on. I got back. This gun was so compact and lightweight that it couldn't get much better for packing. For this one, I dropped into a sitting position to brace. I could just see the top of the rabbit's head and needed to drop the pellet on a very small target. I was limiting myself to a couple jacks per day, but the jet tube did a really good job in these large hairs. At the end of the day, I had a pretty good mixed bag of cottontails and jackrabbits. I was really pleased with the way the jet tube had handled in the carving configuration. Okay, so I got back in. I've been hunting today um, out with the jet, hunting it in a carving, um, hunting it in a carving configuration. And uh, it's done really well for me. I took uh, a few cottontail and a couple big jackrabbits too. Uh, and uh, I find the gun really easy to shoot offhand. It comes up really well. And it's easy, stable, kind of pulls in real well. Um, so yeah, it's been a fun little gun to hunt. I can recommend it for a small game gun. You know, it's not going to be your long range shooter. It's not going to be a, a gun that, uh, you know, is a tack driver on those 50, 60 yard shots. But for walking around the squirrel woods or out on a close-in rabbit hunt like I was doing, uh, it really does the trick.